Hey everybody, it's Tim with Broken Dice, bringing you another channel update, and this one is all about my shameless ordering last week. Um, I know I'm not the first one to do this, just to sit around and think, that's a capital idea, I really need those guys, and I think that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to order those. So what I did, I was look, I've been looking, let's start from the beginning. This is what I was originally looking for. Some Greek archers from Bitrix, just to go along with my Greek army. And well, it turned into... Three boxes of those guys. Which, you know, I could do a review. Somebody else has already done reviews on these, so you can find it at anywhere. I like them uh, as I, I have one of my um, War Games Foundry models up and he's seems a little bit thicker in the body but other than that the height's the same you could probably intermix these guys if you wanted to and have, have no problem but I'm not going to go through all that review stuff somebody else's I don't see too many mold lines I, I just clean work like they always do and very happy with them but it's so funny I was looking for just just one and you know, a unit of archers, that's all I was looking for. Well, anyway, uh -huh, but that's not where it ended. No, from Vitrix website, I jumped on over to Warlord Games because I thought, you know what else I need? I need some medium infantry for my later Greek army. So I ordered. Three blisters of the Thoracotoy, which is, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, that'll, well anyway, three blisters of the regular, I have one blister of command for them, eight in a blister, so there you go, ah oh, well, I know, I know, my shame only deepens. And somewhere along the line, I thought a capital idea, I need more bases. I personally thought I ordered 40s, but so I got cavalry. Maybe I pushed the wrong button, but it's not like I can't find a use for them. And then it didn't end there either. I thought, well, well, we did that. Might as well buy some new rule books while I'm at it. So, for, so for, for Warlord, I hopped on over to Osprey's website and I bought Men of Bronze. The Pikeman's Lament. And just for chuckles, Dragon Ramp. Now I have a thing for rule books. I don't know if anybody else does, I'm sure they do. It's a great part of our hobby. And I always like it because it gives me um, insight into the way people are thinking about gaming. And it's kind of a, a, a window into the author of the game rather than the game itself. So you can read through it, say, okay, this is how this operates, that's how that operates. But then you need to step back and look at it and go, ask yourself the basic stuff, the who, the what, the when, the where, the why, the how. You know, ask yourself some questions and then you start going through and finding answers in the book about, well, why that in that position? Why that in that that part of the book and not here and you know it, it, look at it as if you're trying to understand the author as opposed to just understanding another rule book and then from some more research I got another book Macedonia and Phalangites versus the Persian warrior we all know how that story turned out okay very last thing I want to ask the question 
as I was making my purchases and stuff, and I was thinking about all the things I would love to have, um, do you think, and I'm going to tell you straight up, I believe that wargaming is in the ascendancy, that I don't think the communities have had more outlets, more communication, more connectivity than ever in its history. Um, I find it invigorating to watch other people's videos and watch how how they paint and, and, and just the wonderful way they paint and the number of models that they can they can churn out is, is amazing. Um, I'd like to know what other people think. Uh, do you think that we are in some golden age of wargaming? I do. And uh, I'd like to, you know, somebody else's opinion on the subject. Uh, do you think that there's too many games? Too many options? Are we, are we feathering ourselves out too thinly? Uh, I don't know, but I think we're in a great golden age. I just, I'm just, I'm just thrilled with the direction of the hobby right now. And, uh, I hope everybody else is. I'm all, I'm all pumped up. Uh, so you guys have a great week. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed or please leave a comment. Um, tell me what you think about the, the status of gaming and, uh, and the gaming community as a whole. Um, and I will respond as soon as I can. And I will catch you next week. And hopefully something will be done. Something will be done on that English Civil War project. See you next time.